It was a display of the best lady AFL talent from across the nation. And bounces it through. Hunt. Yes. Get the try. Oh. oh. Yes! <laughs> that was a hole in one. Look, obviously I don't know much about AFL, but anyone can tell these ladies are goddamn talented. The one-off exhibition match, bringing together the creme de la creme of women's AFL, broke all ratings records for any game of this season, male or female. At its peak, just over one million people tuned into the game, smashing the men's average by hundreds of thousands. Mohawk puts it through. It also took over the internet, with the hashtag AFL women's game trending at number seven worldwide on Twitter. And YouTube now autocorrects anyone searching for men's AFL to women's AFL. Go, girl. It's clear that all this lady talent is paying off for Channel 7 and the AFL. But with the very first National Women's AFL League kicking off next year, will it pay off for the women? The AFL has offered to pay most female players $5,000 for the whole season, with a handful getting up to $25,000. That means an entire team of female players, 25 women in all, is worth less than a single average male player. And whilst the women's season will only run for eight weeks, if you break this all down into weekly pay, the average female player will earn just $625 and her male counterpart over $13,000. No, that's not quite fair. Yep, that's what a lot of people are saying, including the Australian government's gender equality body. This is no different workplace to any other workplace that we deal with. Women should be paid the same as men for doing the same job. The women are reportedly also expected to pay their own health insurance. That's right, in a sport where moments like this are considered part of the job, the women will be expected to foot the hospital bills. We don't have that kind of money. All this has led to some awkward questions for the recently appointed champion of change for gender equality in the workplace and AFL CEO, Gillan McLaughlin. So how would that compare with a bloke? Well, it's significantly harder, but the men's competition's 100.